Tell us quickly, how did you end up in this magnificent role at the head of addictions today? <laughs> oh dear. I got the job. It was a it was it was when something is meant to be, it was a vast combination of circumstances over which in some ways I didn't have control, but the actions I had done that were right before fell into place, other people have noticed them. And strangely I was offered the job, didn't apply for it. And then I was told that the trustees of the charity wanted to see my CV, and I approached them individually because I, it happened to be that I was doing voluntary work for all of them anyway. And voluntary work's really important, isn't it? Especially in giving back. I think for people in recovery, there is a vast difference between a job and a career. A job is just something you do to earn money, but somebody in recovery needs hope, as we were said here, inspiration, to be fulfilled, to be rewarded, and that's a career. And a lot of people start off in recovery with voluntary work. It keeps them occupied, gives them a discipline, a structure. They know they're giving, they're doing something rewarding. But it also opens their eyes, because sometimes in early recovery, we can be very tunnel visioned and, or not know who we are. Especially if you do your stuff. I mean, I remember when I first got into treatment, I was asked, are you mean or are you generous? Are you fun loving? I couldn't answer. I knew how I was as a work object. But I could not tell you who I was as a person. I was so cut off at that stage. And so people need to have their options open. They need to see who they are. They need to feel their way. And, and, just, and that, that gives them choices. Step two, if you want to look at it that way, it just gives them more choices. And, and it's, it's incredible. All I wanted to do, and I was doing this, was to give. And look, it got me onto this job. Because how could I have planned that all the people I did voluntary work for happened to be trustees of this one charity? And I've been here more than 15 years now. And it's the classic case, isn't it, of be careful what you wish for? <laughs> because it really can just come true, can't it? Recovery is I didn't an amazing even wish for this. journey. I didn't know what it was, you know. I didn't know what it was. Can I just wanted not to wake up ashamed in the morning. That was it, really. I worked, and, you know, because of my past, I had very violent partners. It was it was really horrific. But even when I finally, or the police rather, finally got rid of the last violent partner, um, it didn't stop the drug. You know, and I would wake up ashamed. Even if I didn't go out and do something awful, even if I was at home by myself, the fact I'd wake up in the morning and know that I had still drunk the previous night, and all my willpower, all my intelligence, nothing could stop it. And that was such a sense of power, despair. That was the word, despair. And yet, the hope that our viewers and the people around us today mm. would have from someone like you, Deirdre, is that in going from those low feelings about yourself, that negative uh, amount of feelings and emotions that pull you down and give you low self-esteem, the journey's been remarkable for you to Absolutely. be editor of Addictions Today. Addiction Today is the only publication in the country, I think, that focuses on addiction rather than just problems and on the solutions rather than the problem. It's how to recover, hints, tips, techniques. It's aimed at professionals, um, people in government, working bodies, etc. But we would love to reach out to anybody else who's in recovery. It's just it's very difficult to reach them, but hopefully via In Excess as well. Yeah, hopefully. But mutually beneficial if people want to, certainly if people contact In Excess, we'd be willing to give them a free sample copy. Um, That's very generous of you. But obvious. it is about staying off alcohol and drugs. We don't say that there aren't other ways, because there are, or they can lead into this, and we should all be working together. But it, it is, um, it, it does have a lot of the tints and techniques for many years, it was the only um, visible face of professionals in recovery working yeah. together.